Okay, uh, what is up everyone? I'm making this video right uh, after the previous one. So, a few things I have to tell you. One thing is I really want to buy this car. Um, Jirka was uh, so kind that he let me try Honda experience. There aren't some like crazy, it's pretty much bone stock other than suspension which is the A, so it's budget, but it works. It has HKS muffler and yeah, uh, it's it's pretty much normal coupe and it has short shifter and, you know, a uh, sport uh, steering wheel, but yeah, it looks absolutely cool. Hopefully I will own uh, one of these in the future because it's crazy. I'm really happy to drive it. I'm really grateful for that. I have some shots of me driving it uh, with Jirka. So he was super cool to make some shots while I was driving. So I'm gonna include them right now. Okay, so yeah. Uh, no, nice. Okay, so it's this car. It's a Civic 6th gen coupe with 1.6 uh, engine under, under the hood. Unfortunately, this is not my car. And I'm kind of sad about it, but I will have Civic one day. So you saw you saw me driving 6G coupe, which uh, sadly I'm not gonna buy. So this car is really nice, but it's really not the right time uh, to buy it, since my main project is my E36, and yeah, it's just not the right time. And I want to make this thing drivable again, and you know, uh, do everything what I wanted to do, and just make it nice and I really don't want to abandon this project so the mirrors are dry they're pretty much ready for the paint but I will not be painting them it's not worth it to paint them right now uh, when I'll be painting the whole car so yeah but the mirrors are pretty much done and I said that I needed adapters for it since the ones that are since the one that came with the mirrors they are for Volkswagen I guess so I ordered the adapters and they came okay so these are the adapters they are really cheap <coughs> well um, and they should fit either the six Okay, so the adapters, they don't fit. Uh, they are probably for coupe or convertible, but <clears throat> look at that. Uh, they just don't fit. Uh, not even like close, not even like close. They just don't fit at all. They are too long and a bit short on the bottom side. So, and even, and even like the holes uh, to attach it, they don't they don't align like nowhere so yeah uh, so uh, I probably showed you that I have another fake entry mirrors and they are in worse condition and then they look horrible but I managed to uh, you know like dismantle 
the adapters for it. They fit pretty nicely on the fake empty mirrors, these ones. So they fit. You have to like push it a little bit, but they fit. So it should be good. Now, uh, what I'm waiting for is the coolant. Since I ordered a new one, <laughs> I ordered coolant again, but yeah, I'm gonna, I will attach these three hoses to the AC and then I will be most likely ready to uh, try to start again and hopefully it will not leak the coolant. And also what I want to do is take the interior out as much as I can. And I want to take the carpet off just to look what's underneath the carpet, if it's rusty or not. And also to prepare it for the new seals uh, since they will be uh, welded. So I will update you uh, like uh, throughout the process. Let's get to work. Okay, so, so far I reconnected the hoses. Uh, for the AC and hopefully it will work this time uh, and also I started with taking the interior out again the carpet doesn't look that bad uh, I think it's pretty nice now I'm gonna take out the center console and then uh, probably the driver's seat okay so uh, I can't Take the carpet off uh, until I will take the dashboard off, and I don't want to do that. So we'll see how that goes without without removing the dashboard. So uh, the driver's seat is uh, out, is disconnected, and I found some money. Okay, so the car seats are out. I had to rearrange a bit uh, this. Uh, this part of the garage when the AC was leaking the coolant the coolant was leaking through my interior and So what I want to do is uh, take the carpet out uh, Well, not exactly uh, but only like this part or fold it and uh, I have heater so it should help a little bit with uh, with the wet part hopefully it will do something and also i will wipe it okay so it's pretty hard to you know like move the carpet and get it somewhere there is whoa, nice screw the floor doesn't look that bad actually i thought that it would look much worse which is a which is a good thing of, of course it, it's a good thing yeah I, I will have to figure out a way to uh move it so it's in a steady place and put the heater right here somewhere and let it heat up a bit so far it's been pretty good with uh you know uh drying the floor so if you yeah uh, this is this is the this is the hole where it was leaking from under the car and if you look right there it's really wet it's really wet and the coolant is still in there so yeah um, it's not good but the carpet is uh, drying pretty well <clears throat> so i soldered the cables for the turn signals so they're now uh, connected this will be probably it uh, it it wasn't like anything big in this video and uh, it might have been a bit uh, a bit like a clickbait i'm sorry for that but yeah this car is really great but i think it's not uh, it's not the right time to uh you know like buy it and i mean the car is really great i really like the style the wing is perfect and you know uh you know i have uh, wheels for it but i'm gonna have to wait i really would like to buy it in the future one thing that would be great is turning this car into a drift car and there are some people that have 
uh, done it and it's really amazing to see that and you know like the whole process i really want to buy some japanese car i really love them i know it doesn't look like that because i have bmw but i think i'm gonna end it right here uh okay so finally this is the end of this video thank you so much for watching and you know see you guys next time <laughs>